Hey, what's going on? J J JD here, and I have a quick tutorial for you. Today, we are going to show you how to make yourself into a hologram. No plugins required directly in Final Cut Pro. All right, let's just jump right into it. We've created some footage, some green screen footage, and of course, the office here as well. We're gonna drop those both in the timeline. We are going for a max headroom, sort of force ghost look. So of course, we gotta first get rid of that green screen, and we're gonna jump here. We're gonna add the Luma from Final Cut Pro, and we're gonna go in, and we are just going to change the range to make sure that we completely get rid of that background. So that is the first step. Now you can film this if you don't have a green screen and cut yourself out, but why make it more difficult than you have to? And of course, because these are two different environments, we are going to have to adjust things so the footage looks like it was shot in the exact same location. So we're gonna drop down that exposure we are going to play with the lights, the darks, the shadows, and we're gonna get this as close as we can to the footage itself, and that is looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna scrub through and make sure that it looks like it would if I shot it directly in my office. And I think it's pretty close as far as things go, but it doesn't really matter anyways because we're going to degrade this footage a little bit to give it that sort of, you know, Star Wars hologram effect that you would have seen in the Star Wars films, the original ones, or, you know, Max Headroom, the TV series. And I'm thinking that is where we need to be. So we're going to go on and add our first effect. All right, the first effect that we are going to add is the TV effect. We're not using any plugins. Normally I would do this using adjustment layers. You can watch a video, there is a link down below to that where you can do it, where you're not dropping them directly on the clip. So we drop in bad TV and the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to change things uh, a bit. We're gonna change the intensity a bit so it's a little bit lighter and we're going to switch to TV static. And that is looking pretty good. So I think we're going to stick with that there. But of course, like the last video that we did a hologram effect with a phone, we're going to want to make ourselves a little bit transparent. So we're going to go to the compositing here and we are going to drop down the opacity so we can see a little bit of the background. That gives the illusion that I'm not actually sitting there. Well, I'm not actually sitting there. It is green screened in there and if we scrub through the footage again we can see that i've got a little bit of jitter i'm transparent and you can tell that i am not sitting directly in the office and it does have that kind of old school hologram effect but we're not done here necessarily we're going to jump back in and we're going to add flashing again i would rather do this in adjustment layers but you know, for the case of this, we're not using any plugins. And you can see we get flashing throughout, although I would say that the intensity of that is a bit too high. So we're gonna drop that right down. I just want it to look like a projection camera is flickering a bit. So when we play through the video, there are little light anomalies on the image and that was working a little bit better, I think, and looks much more believable. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to add one more effect. We are going to add a little bit of glow to the image. Uh, we're gonna just drop that in and you can see it sort of brightens things up, gives it a little bit more degradation in the image, but I think it really works well in between the flashing. And again, you know, we're just sort of going for that 80s sci-fi look, whether it's the fifth element or Max Headroom or Star Wars, that's what we want it to look like, and I think it's done quite well. You could go further and tint the image if you wanted and make it just a single color, but that's entirely up to you. And this is all done, like I mentioned, via the effects in Final Cut Pro. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to add those little bits of glitches that you saw in the beginning of the video. We're going to find certain portions where the video, either my head moves a little bit more 
or at the beginning of my name, like when I said JD, or even you know the cut portion of Final Cut Pro. We're gonna add some stutters in there. So basically what you do here is you scrub through the footage, you select a section of audio, and then you will start duplicating the layer. And there's really no way to do it other than sort of experiment. So what I like to do is I like to copy and drop the clip directly in there. Uh, so I've got two of the same section. And then I will start pasting multiple clips of that same section above, you know, sort of staggering them about halfway in between. And then what I will do is I will play with the lengths, the durations, uh, and see what kind of effect. If you notice when I scrub through the video, you'll actually see the other images in the background, and that sort of gives it that max headroom effect. Now, knowing that you're going to do this effect when you film your green screen footage, you can do very exaggerated head movements, especially if you know the sections that you're going to do this with. It gives a nice kind of glitch effect. Again, there is no rhyme or reason to sort of do this other than sort of staggering the effect and focusing on a particular sound. And when you get it to a point where you are happy, then you can move forward and continue to edit the video. So as you can see, I'm just playing with the layers, scrubbing through, I kind of like how that looks, but I'm gonna change it up, I think, a little bit again. And again, I'm listening to the sound to get the sound the way I want it, as well as the video effect. And as I scrub through there, I think that is pretty good. So now we're just going to fade out the image and we're gonna do that by adding a keyframe. Uh, where we have our regular opacity, moving it through the clip, and then of course we're going to select another keyframe and move that down to zero. So that should have a nice fade out transition of our hologram effect. So again, you can just kind of stop here and that's enough for the effect. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize one of my past plugins and that is the retro pixel transition so it gets a little more digitized as it fades out so the image looks like the image quality is degrading as our hologram disappears. There's a link for that video down below as well as the free plugin there. And I'm also gonna do that in the front of the video as well. I'm going to select a section and have our digital image sort of materialize in for my larger pixels to a tighter looking hologram. And of course, we're gonna do the same thing. We are going to set our keyframe and then we're going to scrub back and set it to zero so we have a nice fade in effect. And there we should look pretty good. So now all we have to really do is break the clip in half, add the retro pixel transition, and we should be golden and our effect is close to complete. We've got one more step to sort of give it that force ghost look. Now you don't necessarily have to do that. You may be just satisfied with the skin tones and the glitching, but what we're gonna do here is we're going to utilize the effect cast. We're going to drop that directly onto our clip. And what that's going to do is colorize the tones and you can see it gives it sort of that monochrome. Now you can jump in there and select the color you like, whatever it is, but we're gonna stick with just that kind of base blue and the project is pretty much done. Again, links for these other videos for the adjustment layer and the transition are down below. And there you have it. That's how you make yourself into a hologram in Final Cut Pro. No plugins required. Of course, you can do this with motion as well and get a few more little effects going on. Of course, you can watch our past video. I will throw a link down below to show you how to do that. And of course, there's a free plugin there as well. Until next time, remember, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notifications. And until next time, see ya.